Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be how to reject women without being a jerk. This is going to be a short one. He said, I got an email here from a reader, and he says, I emailed you a few weeks ago about returning to my hometown after a few years away and asking for advice on how I should act, and this is a follow-up to that. This particular guy, I think he said he was going home and he was worried about because he's he's totally changed. He's got swagger. He's been developing some really great success with women. And when he went back home, he was what he was worried about is everybody remembered the way he used to be, which was weak, needy, insecure, a guy that wasn't very successful with women. And so this is obviously a follow-up to what happened after he went back home. And he says, to make a long story short, the first night out, I was very laid back, indifferent, loud, and just concentrating on having a great time, which I did. And girls kept coming up to me as I just chilled with my friends in a booth. Now, I spoke to a girl who asked for my number, which I got, but I didn't find her too attractive. And I spoke to another girl who subtly offered me no-strings-attached sex, which I turned down because, again, she was totally the opposite of what I find attractive. And that's what's so beautiful about I, I wrote an article and I've done some videos called How to Get Women to Approach You First. And when you do that, when you just go out with your buddies and you have a good time and you, you do the body language things that I talk about, if you just Google Corey Wayne, How to Get Women to Approach You First, you'll see the technique. And what's beautiful is you just hang out with your buddies and have a good time and chicks will come up, they'll proposition you for sex, they'll give you phone numbers, they'll come up and, and talk to you and hit on you first. And it's great because you don't really have to do jack shit. You can focus on having a good time and chicks will hit on you all night long. And so you're going to have women that are going to hit on you. They're going to be ugly. They're not going to be attractive. Not all of them are going to be <clears throat> perfect tens. But the idea is that when other women see that women are constantly coming up to your table and talking to you, they're going to get the impression that you're obviously very popular with women and you have a lot of popular friends or female friends. And even if the girls are unattractive, it doesn't matter. If you're kind and you're friendly to all chicks, it communicates that you're very easy to approach. And obviously you must be very popular. And so the really super hot women are going to notice this. And after they see a dozen or so women come by, then they're going to wonder, what's what's all, what's all up with this guy? And they're going to have to come over and find out about you because every other guy that's in the bar or nightclub is trying to buy him drinks and hanging all over him and won't leave him alone. And you guys are, are not pursuing. And so you're going to be interesting to them, and they're going to want to come over and find out what is all the fuss about you guys. So good job for following the technique and getting the results. He says, so what do I do when I'm in a situation with a girl, like I mentioned, and I don't find them attractive? Do I just do it for experience, or is there a way to turn girls down that doesn't involve being a jerk? And so that's a, a great question. I would say definitely do it for the practice. And if you're not interested in a chick, just say, hey, I really appreciate the offer, but I'm just hanging with my friends tonight. And you can take their phone number and just never call them. I mean, that's because that's what chicks do to guys all the time. They give out their phone number and they, they never call them. Or they take a guy's phone number and they say, well, give me your business card instead. And they never, they never call the guy. So you just be honest and enjoy the experience. If a chick gives you her phone number, say, hey, I appreciate that. doesn't mean you have to call her. You're not obligated to call her because women do it to guys every weekend. There's millions of women all around the world that on weekends they get hit on and they'll give out their phone number and the guys will call and they'll, the guys will never get the chicks in the line and the chicks will never respond to their texts and they won't understand why. And it's just because they don't have any interest. And so when a chick propositions you for sex but she's just not up to your standards of, of what you are willing to share yourself with, then you say, hey, I appreciate that but I'm just having a good time with my friends so I'm just going to hang hang tonight. So thanks anyways. Y'all have a great night. And so the easiest way is like I talk about is when you want to dismiss a group of girls, maybe they're not that attractive or you're not really into them or you think they're boring or their their conversation sucks or you don't you, you don't like the fact that they use the word like three times in every sentence that that they that they comes out of their mouth. And you can just simply say, Hey, it was neat, nice meeting you girls, but I gotta get back to my friends. Y'all have a great night and you just turn back and go back to your friends. And that's the easiest way to dismiss women that you're talking to so you can open yourself up to new women coming along and, and talking to your group and also you, how you, you can appear as being what a great guy a fun guy and you're not rude because what will happen is there will be some women that will keep coming up to you every once in a while hey I'm ready to go I'm I'm ready to leave when you are and you can say you know I, I'm not ready to leave yet I heard you the, the first five times that you mentioned that to me kind of thing but just have fun and 
don't worry about it. Don't stress about it. So if you've got a question that you want to ask me or a topic you want me to cover in a future video newsletter, go to my website, click the Contact Me tab, which is going to be on the left-hand side of your screen. Send me one to two paragraphs max detailing your questions, your situation, your challenges, and you just got to give me several days to get back to you with a response because I get a lot of email from the Internet, and I also get a lot of it from my paying phone coaching customers. But be patient, and I will get back to you. If you want to talk to me right away, the quickest way to get my help is to book a paid phone coaching session. And you can do that by going to my website, click the Products tab, which is going to be at the top of your screen, and just follow the instructions. If you want to get a digital version of my Kindle ebook, go to my website, and underneath the email sign-up box is going to be a link that will take you to the Amazon Kindle download page for my book. Just go there, and you don't have to have a Kindle device to read my ebook. All you have to do is download one of their free Kindle e-reader apps for whatever device you have. They have them for Android smartphones, they have them for iPhones, they have them for Macs, they have them for PC, and pretty much any tablet device that's out there. So just download the app that's appropriate for your device, and it only takes a matter of seconds to do that. And once you've got that, it's only a few more seconds to download my book, and you'll be reading it in no time. And I will talk to you soon.